Hello and welcome back to NWSL Talk where we look at all the big talking points and stories from across the pond in the NWSL. So the international break is done and dusted with and we now turn our attention to match day three in the NWSL. So obviously the big news of the international break unfortunately was that uh, Mallory Swanson has suffered a torn a tendon in her knee and has undergone surgery and we obviously wish him Mal a full recovery. Uh, time scale is obviously unknown but it is extremely likely now that she will miss the World Cup um, so it's going to be a long road to recovery for Mal Swanson and hopefully she can come back and be her usual self and back to the great player that she is. Another bit of breaking news reaching us on Thursday afternoon here in the United Kingdom and that is the NWSL and UKG have announced a historic pay equity milestone for the NWSL Challenge Cup that kicks off next week and that is the prize pool for it will be one million dollars so that is absolutely fantastic to see it's the first of its kind in the NWSL and women's football in North America uh, so it's going to be uh, interesting to see who can reign victorious in the NWSL uh, later on uh, throughout the year. So let's have a look ahead to the fixtures this weekend and kicking us off on Saturday, well Friday night, Saturday morning for European viewers, it is the Portland Fawns versus the Houston Dash and then on Saturday night we have North Carolina Courage versus the Washington Spirit, Orlando Pride versus Gotham FC, Chicago Red Stars against Kansas City Corrent, Angel City versus Racing Louisville and OL Rain versus San Diego Wave to round us off this weekend. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the games go. Can uh, the San Diego Wave and Portland Thorns keep up their 100% records? Uh, to start off the season and obviously the uh, three teams at the bottom Chicago, Kansas City and Orlando will be hoping to get their first points on the board this season. Now there has been a lot of talk in the press over the last uh, day or two uh, regarding the future of OL Reign because there had been some reports that uh, they were going to be put up for sale and that uh, Washington Spirit owner Michelle Kang was interested in, in uh, acquiring the team. There hasn't been uh, full details on the explanation, so I'm a little unclear as to what happens, whether it will end up being a Warren that gets put up for sale or whether it be their um, team that also owned them Olympic Lyonnais over in France, whether it would be their women's team that is end eventually put up for sale. So that is going to be uh, very interesting to see what happens regarding uh, them two teams. And again, another international announcement that happened over the break was that uh, a Bay Area team will be coming to the NWSL in 2024 alongside the Utah Royals. Obviously, we already know about the Utah Royals coming in. They were announced a couple of weeks back, but a team from the Bay Area will be the 14th pick, uh, 14th team in uh, the NWSL and will be playing next season. The full details of the team, so uh, team name and everything uh, remains to be seen. So. Uh, anything that comes out of that we will let you know straight away and obviously we've now just under a hundred days to go until the World Cup it's going to be interesting to see who does pick up those last couple of spots for um, Flatko and Danofsky's side as the US look to uh, ret uh, retain the World Cup and obviously the US also announced they will be playing a friendly against Wales uh, coming up after their two friendlies against Ireland uh, that we have just seen so it's going to be an uh, interesting couple of months or so in the NWSL with the Challenge Cup coming up and how well uh, the teams can keep going in the NWSL and uh, going forth. In the meantime, make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a video of ours. And we'll be back next week to look ahead uh, to all the action coming up in the Challenge Cup and any other talking points from the NWS. So in the meantime, make sure you're following us on Twitter and Instagram for all the latest news and stories so you never miss a, uh, anything of ours. And that you are subscribed to the channel with post notification bell turned on uh, so you never miss a video of ours. In the meantime, we will see you soon.